Hello friends, I am Dr. Suhas Talmale and today we are going to discuss how to crack IIT jam exam for biotechnology. Now, this exam is conducted by IIT as well as IISC and they are having their common entrance called IIT jam through which you can take admission to MSc or integrated PhD courses. MSc is a two year course while integrated PhD is a two plus three that is five year course. During this complete course you are going to get a good scholarship and of course no doubt these institutions are the best and the certificate itself has an importance and it will be a milestone in your career. Now the IIT jam exam in IIT jam exam the cutoff is only at 40% or hardly 42 or 43 percent but the topper of this exam is generally among 60 to 65 percent it's not more than 60 percent why is this so this is so because uh, the questions are tricky they are not straightforward type of questions but you need to have a good knowledge of uh, a basic knowledge of uh, complete biology as well as biotechnological subjects now most of the students they uh, uh, might be quite good in uh, studies but they don't qualify the H exam because of the negative marking so don't go for negative markings and as i have discussed that hardly the topper is at 60 to 65 percent and the cutoff is near about 40 percent if this is so definitely what you have to do is you have to focus on the main topics only don't go through the everything because if you keep on doing everything you might not be able to solve good uh, questions and also you have to solve only 60 to 65 percent of the questions in which you are confident enough don't go for negative marking that's a focus on the main topics and even after qualifying this exam you need to have, uh, give an interview and their interview will be completely on the basis of your sop that is statement of purpose you have to write a research topic and you should have complete knowledge of that research topic other than that you must give your experimental uh, 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 presentations in that research topic that how is the experiment will be designed and not only that but some basics questions uh, the university in which you are uh, studying and the graduation syllabus on that basis they may ask you any type of basic questions so on that basis the interview will be there and even and even if you qualify the exam but you need to crack the interview too then only you are able to enter in IIT or ISC. Now the complete exam is online. No calculators are allowed but in your computer system in which you are going to give exam there will be an online computer itself which is just like any other scientific calculators available in the market. Now, uh, just to practice, you can uh, download any app as there are n number of apps on uh, Google and app download any app from Play Store and uh, just practice on it so that you should be able to uh, uh, be aware of all the functions of that type of scientific calculator. Also, you have to apply online and you have to go for online payment. The eligibility is simply 55% marks in graduation that much is sufficient because many students who score quite less mark in graduation but they are quite intelligent and they crack this exam now uh, let's come to uh, the important part how this exam is going to be there the exam complete exam is uh, classified into three sections section a b and c the section a will have 30 questions and out of the 30 questions, the question number 1 to 10 will carry 1 mark each. Question number 11 to 30 will carry 2 mark each. Thus, question number 1 to 10 will have 10 marks and 11 to 30 will have 40 marks. If you will go for negative, means if you will go for any wrong answer, minus 1 by 3 will be deducted and here 2 by 3 marks will be deducted. The B section consists of MSQs. There are 10 MSQ. MSQ means multiple selection question. In case of multiple choice question, out of the four options, only one will be correct and the three will be wrong. But in multiple selection, there might be two questions correct, 
three questions correct or even all the four questions might be correct and if you won't go for if any question is there in which two questions are uh, two uh, options are correct but if i will go for only one still that will not be considered but uh, the best part is uh, this question is ca are carrying two marks thus there are 20 marks on this section but there is no negative marking that is the best part other than that the section c here there is neither mcq nor msq you will not have any options you have to solve it for that a rough page will have been will be provided to you and there are 20 questions these are called numerical answer type questions that is n a t and here again from 1 to 10 you will have one mark and from 11 to 20 you will have two marks thus there are 20 n a t questions and thus there are 10 plus 20 that is total 30 questions 30 marks and thus overall you have 100 mark paper and thus there are 60 questions but there are complete 100 marks are there uh, and in the NAT section also there is no negative marking now let's come to the classification of this exam as we are going to give this exam for biotechnology means we are the students of life science biology portion will include 44 percent of the weightage of this exam and the biology will have 10 plus 2 plus 3 level questions 10 plus 2 plus 3 means up to graduation level but keep in mind in biology there are n number of topics so if i will go keep on doing on n number of topics definitely it will be very difficult but what i should go is that there are mainly biomolecules and metabolism means the biochemistry portion then the ncrt biology 11th and 12th uh, uh, book you must refer molecular biology cell biology microbiology immunology these four are very important topics from which most of the questions are asked and other than that photosynthesis and respiration uh, is a part on which many times questions are there but other than that uh, biophysical techniques is a very important part especially spectroscopy chromatography electrophoresis centrifugation nmr on nmr also you have questions uh, nmr and if you will go for nmr and this technique biophysical technique portion definitely same type of questions might come in chemistry part as well as in biology part so you can cover two things at a time other than that in chemistry portion you again have 20 percent of the weightage of this exam and it is again of 20 plus 2 plus 3 that is up to graduation level they can ask any question but most of the question belong to 11 12th ncrt book in maths portion 15 to 20 percent of the weightage is there uh, just a minute uh, in chemistry portion you go for nmr thermodynamics mass spectrometry and important organic reaction again organic is a very important part uh, out of chemistry portion 40 to 50 percent questions are always on organic and they are also they are also based on name the reaction name the structure mechanism of the reaction especially all the important reaction like Kanizaro reaction aldol condensation uh, all these uh, reactions which are very important and uh, and ketone reactions Grignard's reagent reactions such uh, reactions are generally asked other than that uh, there is always one question from complexes and coordination compound one question always from periodic table one question is always from atomic structure such areas are there so you go for that but main focus is should be on organic then the maths portion it has a it has a weightage of 15 to 20 percent and it will not exceed that 10 plus 2 level of course the iit people are well familiar that they are conducting a separate exam for math students they don't want mathematicians from this exam they want biologists they want biotechnologists so they are well aware up to what you can jump in maths and that's why limit continuity derivation uh, continuity derivative integration these four topics you must go through because most of the time questions are asked from them then probability 3d geometry permutation combination sets matrices and trigonometry these are the main areas in which most of the time questions are asked now let's come to the physics part again 15 to 20 percent of the weightage is there on physics and 10 plus 2 level it will not exceed up to graduation only 10 plus 2 level that much is more than enough now in physics also don't go for the complete physics because physics is a very big subject you cannot go for each and everything so what to do go for laws of motion work energy even if you can go for 8 9 10th 
uh, level of physics which is quite easy and pretty uh, easy to understand uh, you can go through it uh, especially oscillation current electricity then uh, formula based questions are generally uh, present on physics so in physics you go for formulas because formulas are comparatively easy to remember and uh, if straightforward questions are there on physics you can at least solve that keep in mind don't go for negative answers because most of the students who are quite intelligent don't get qualified just because they go in negative and other than that if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you